was the, uh, the biggest issue tonight, Tyler? Uh, I just think we, we took too many penalties, obviously. Um, obviously, we actually didn't have too bad of a first period. It was kind of the second that got away from us, and um, they took advantage of our, our mistakes and um, too many penalties, and um, yeah, that was kind of the, the biggest part. How do you explain those penalties? Are you just getting caught up in the, in the emotions of the game? I would say a little bit, yeah. Um, obviously, the first period was uh, obviously everyone was a little nervous just trying to get into the game. and. Um, you know, stuff like that happens, but we got to be a little bit more, uh, um, you know, prepared to, you know, just kind of tone it down a bit and, um, you know, be, not be so emotionally invested and, um, you know, stick within the game. What's it going to take to have better uh, success offensively as a team? Yeah, we kind of showed that a little bit in the third. We were kind of getting more pucks on net and, um, you know, that's what we got to do and um, keep it a little bit more simple. And, um, and we got our looks uh, looks in the third. Um, we just kind of kind of obviously go over some video and um, look at it later. You've been on the, other, on the other side. How tough is it in this building when, when they get rolling, rolling, the crowd gets rolling? Yeah, definitely the crowd is a big part of uh, their success. Um, you know, they get behind them. Um, so that's what that's one thing that next game we need to do is kind of nip that in the butt and try to keep uh, the momentum on our side. What did you learn about Swayman when you were around him last year? What stood out? Yeah, I mean, he's a good goalie. Um, we got to get in front of his eyes so he can't see it. Um, you know, be all around him. Um, you know, try to get a couple and um, hopefully more will go in. What was the biggest uh, challenge issue for the team tonight? Um, turnovers to the neutral zone. Um, obviously, we give them a very good look in the start of the game there, and they, they capitalize on it. Um, it's obviously a very skilled team over there. When you give them a lot of power plays, they're going to start really feeling good about their game. So something that uh, we got to really limit as well. What's the key to generating more offense moving forward here, making type, tough life a bit tougher for some uh, Like I said, just you know, not, not as many turnovers through the neutral zone. Um, we got to be more direct. Thought we started doing a better job of that in the third period. Um, a little bit throughout the first as well, but second we kind of got away from that. And um, you know, just from that point on, it's just trying to find low to highs or uh, you know even stuffs or throwings from the side of the nets and just try to get bodies there and um, you know try to generate a little more from that. What did you see on the power play tonight in terms of just the process? How, how, how was it going? Yeah, I mean, I think we had a couple good looks on that four and three. I mean, had a couple good looks by the pad. Um, unfortunately, one just didn't drop. But, um, you know, obviously, playoffs is a special teams kind of thing. Uh, it can really win you series. So uh, I'm, I'm sure tonight we're going to talk about it. Tomorrow we're going to look at it and see what we can do better and see what we can fix and uh, go forward. You know, it's going to be a game breaker. So we got to make sure we get it locked in. How much did you describe? miss Willie? I mean, obviously, he's uh, one hell of a talent. Does a lot of things for us out there even strength power play wise. So uh, he creates a lot of offense as well with his skill and speed through the neutral zone and really just from you know, picking up pucks in the D zone. So um, just like we've talked about all year, man, we've had, uh, we've had some really big uh, names go out and we've had a lot of guys step up. Fortunately tonight wasn't one of those nights, but um, you know, we get to regroup tonight, uh, recover tomorrow, you know, see what we can do better and you know, get ready for game two. How would you describe the atmosphere tonight? What's it like when the crowd gets, gets going like that? Um, yeah, I mean, we've been here a lot, so, you know, you just got to, uh, I don't know if it's battle through it or anything, but, you know, just, we know it's always going to be a loud building in here. You know, it's the same when they come to our building. So, passionate fans on both sides. Um, you know, like I said, it's, uh, we need to do a better job in the first there of just really limiting that rush chance, um, really letting their fans kind of get, get into it and get going. What's the key on the penalty kill and tightening up a bit? Well, I thought we did a good job in the first there. Um, and then, I, I mean, I think... You know, you do kind of get a little sense of what the penalty kill is going to do when you get a more than three or four. So, um, like I talked about, we got to stay out of the box. It's, just, it's a highly skilled team over there with two good power plays that can make plays and, and really uh, generate a lot of momentum for their team and possibly score. So, I thought we did a good job throughout uh, the first period there. Second, I thought we had a couple, uh, you know, good clears and stuff like that. And then, you know, just one little mistake or one little error, it's back in their net. So, um, you know, we'll look at all those special team things tomorrow, I'm sure, and, you know, try to clean it up and. Like I said, be better for game two. Yeah, what was the, the biggest issue challenge for the team in your mind today? Uh, we started pretty good first period, really good. Uh, and the uh, second, a little bit penalty is get some slow down for us. But you know, like, uh, I mean, like, like we need to be some heads up. We've been in this situation in the last year against Tampa. And just uh, we need to believe each other and stick together. What needs to improve on the penalty kill? I like us uh, when the stand is Boston is a really good power play. These guys play really smart. Uh, this, this, this is what we will see today. Are you when the when the puck goes in, 
regardless of whether it's your fault or not. How's it, how hard is it to keep the confidence up? How do you do that? What, what do you mean? When the puck goes in, right? Four goals go in tonight, and the last two games uh, of the regular season, goals go in. How do you keep your confidence up? It doesn't matter. It's, uh, forgot about this. Yeah. And uh, keep on working. Yeah. It's, it's, it's not doesn't mean after three games I'm s get some bad goal. Yeah. Yeah. We see in the uh, last three months what's going on. And uh, yeah, I believe myself. I believe my skill. I believe uh, everybody in this locker room. Yeah. And this why you make some confidence. What was it like to play in this atmosphere tonight? The crowd really got going when they started rolling. Yeah, yeah. It's like all the time here. I play against Boston. It's home ring for these guys. But we didn't listen. Uh, we just play hockey here. What was the biggest issue challenge in your mind for the team tonight? Uh, I mean, I can think of a couple things. Obviously, just uh, too many penalties. I think uh, you give a team like that. Um, opportunities uh, on the man advantage. Obviously, that many they're going to capitalize. And um, you know, I thought we started out pretty good game, and then you know, just little mistakes. And they're a very patient team, and um, you know, obviously uh, executed on the mistakes that we made. Um, so it's a game of inches. You know, we get a taste of um, you know what the series is all about here in, in this game, and you know, we just continue to um, you know we got to elevate our game and can continue to put our best foot forward and, and get better. The, the four and the four and three at the, at the four and three power play at the start of the second was a big moment. What do you see from the power play tonight in general? Um, I mean, some good, some some bad. Obviously, we'd like to be more consistent, um, and I think it just all comes down to execution. Um, you know, when we get the opportunities that are there, is try to capitalize them, and when, when we get them, obviously, uh, you know, it's tight. They're a very patient team. They play well defensively, and we just got to continue to challenge the net and, and have guys there uh, and try to outnumber them. Austin. Penalties happen sort of in the moment. How do you curtail those moments? How do you get more discipline? I mean, I think it's just all about the mindset and, and keeping our composure and finding that, you know, fine line of obviously competing, um, you know, and sticking up for one another, but uh, not crossing that line where, you know, we're the ones that are getting taken to the box. So you, were, you guys were in this position last year at this time, down one nothing. It was in at home. How do you, what do you take away from how you guys battled back last season? Well, that's the thing is it's it's one game at a time, and we can take a lot from this game and um, you know try to course correct it and um, you know reinforce different things. But you know in the end, we just got to come out and, and, and elevate our game and in all different areas, um, you know, minimize mistakes. Uh, like I said, they they're a very patient team, and um, you know they're they're waiting on on those mistakes to to jump on them and capitalize on them. So you know we just got to uh, obviously take care of the puck and, and simplify things a little bit because uh, I think when we did that, there was points in the game where we gained a lot. Momentum, so it's just finding that throughout the 60 minutes. How would you describe your emotions during this game and the way the crowd got into it? Into yeah, I mean, this is uh, you know obviously a building we're familiar with, so you know it's it's going to be a great atmosphere. We know it's going to be loud, and um, you know I think it's just channeling that in the right way and going out there and just competing. What was the impact of not having Neilander out there tonight? Well, he's obviously a great player and a big part of our team. Um, you know, we've been in situations where we had key players out throughout the season, so it's just about other guys getting opportunity, more opportunity, and stepping up and, and making the most of it. Your thoughts on uh, on the game and where things went wrong for you guys tonight? Well, I think you know there's little little things inside the game that make the difference. You know that uh, give them the edge. You know, obviously we, you know we. Uh, they got a huge save early in the, early in the game at 0-0, right? You know, and then shortly thereafter, we we make a mistake, give up a two-on-one. You know, so that's the type of chance that we didn't get uh, through the game. You know, and then and then uh, we started the second period. We had a couple chances, really good chances. Some of our best chances in the game. Matthews, Yarncroc. You know, a chance to even the score <clears throat> and don't do that, and then. Uh, Turn one over on the breakout and ends up, you know, long shift ends up in our net and then, and this the, the penalties piled up, you know, which allowed them to pull away in the game. So those are just little things inside the game. I don't, uh, you know, uh, that, that's what makes a difference. And at this time of year, you can't make those mistakes. Usually, the teams that does ends up on the wrong side of the game. You know, outside of those mistakes, the flow of the game, everything, we're right there. We have our chances and we don't make good on them, but uh, just. Too many mistakes, little mistakes like that two on one, the penalties, careless with our stick, that kind of stuff is not good enough. Sheldon, how do you think the group handled the emotion of the of the game, the moment? 
Well, like I said, I mean, it, you know, careless penalties. You know, Domi's penalty obviously is the one that's that's I would I would call an undisciplined an undisciplined penalty. Um, I understand what he's trying to do, but cross the line there and uh, can't do that. But then just the high sticks and that kind of stuff, like that's just careless stuff that I don't know if that has anything to do with the emotion or anything like that. In terms of the emotion, the game, the competitiveness, the physicality, we had no issue with our game and on that end of it. Sheldon, obviously the power play didn't get a goal, but I'm just wondering what you saw uh, from a process standpoint. Yeah, it was not good. It was not good. It was really slow, disconnected, not good enough. Uh, Sheldon, when it comes to being more disciplined and taking fewer penalties, like penalties happen in the moment. How do you curtail those moments? Well, like I said, to me, like, you got one penalty. You know, the Domi penalty is the one that's, you know, that's undisciplined in nature. The other is I just, you know, I think we had two high sticks. That's just carelessness that this time of the year, you just got to be dialed in. Your stick, you can't allow your stick to to get up like that. Sometimes it's going to happen. But it's hap happens happened too much tonight. Um, even the other one, I can't. Uh, the Benoit penalty like sticks a little careless there for me early in the game there. Um, the McCabe one, I don't know. You probably find 40 of those penalties in the game tonight. Um, that one happened to get called, but uh, like I said, I don't look at it as us being undisciplined or anything. But just a little careless with the sticks. You know, the only one I set aside. Um, so uh, you know, there's two different things there for us to, to sort out. Uh, how would you describe the impact of Nylander not being in there tonight? I mean, he's a very good player. Makes a big difference on our team. He's, you know, we've played without guys at different times, and we've handled it very well. We didn't handle it very well tonight, and he's one guy that we um, haven't experienced playing without, and uh, you know, certainly missed him. But all that said, that he has nothing to do with us taking too many penalties or giving up a two-on-one, or you know. Um, Obviously, the power play makes an impact, uh, an impact there. But um, you know, like I said, we we've handled that situation all very well all season. Some of our best games have been when when best people are out. Um, you know, it's tough to go into a playoff without them, but uh, not the storyline here for us tonight. There's other things that we needed to do a lot better. What'd you make of Samsonov's game? I thought, you know, I, I thought. I would categorize each of their goals from his perspective as good goals. You know, like there's a tough, tough uh, chances, tough shots. He made a couple saves that one flurry in the, in the uh, first period towards the end there, where there's stuff happening around the goal line. He battled, kept it out. Um, so uh, you know, I don't put this one on him for sure. Obviously, and then, you know, on the other side, we only get one. Uh, so that's that's not good enough to, to help any goalie win.